Way to go, Bethany Hamilton. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow night. Good night. From across the globe to every corner here in South Florida, everywhere you need them, David Muir covering our world, Tiffany Kenny, Todd McDermott, and Felicia Rodriguez covering our home. More people are watching WPBF 25 News and World News Tonight, and we thank you. WPBF 25 News at 5 with Tiffany and Felicia, WPBF 25 News at 6 with Felicia and Todd, and ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir at 6.30. Breaking news leaders you trust every night. We cover Boca, Boynton, Stewart, Wellington, West Palm, and everywhere in between better than anyone. At WPBF 25 News Mornings, getting informed is simple. Stories you missed overnight, breaking news happening now. WPBF 25 First Alert Traffic, keeping you on time and stress-free. WPBF 25 First Alert Weather, trusted, accurate. Live, local, late-breaking. On TV, on your phone, in your feed. Your best day always starts right here with WPBF 25 News Mornings. Thank you for making WPBF 25 News number one. This is Surviving the Storm, a WPBF 25 First Alert Weather Special. Good evening, I'm Mike Myers. I'm Sandra Shaw. And I'm Chris Martinez. In the next 30 minutes, our weather team is going to give you the information you need to prepare your family and your home before, during, and after a storm. Now, last year's hurricane season was below average with just four hurricanes, but the storms that did develop caused widespread damage and death. That's right, Tropical Storm Erica battered the Caribbean island of Dominica with record flooding. And Category 4, Hurricane Joaquin was responsible for sinking the El Faro cargo ship. But Florida hasn't been hit by a hurricane in 10 years. However, this time around, it is expected to be more active. Forecasters at Colorado State University predict 12 named storms, 5 hurricanes, and 2 major storms. The primary thing people in Florida need to realize is they've been riding an incredibly lucky streak. You guys have gotten 10 years without any hurricane impacts in the state of Florida. That's right, the last hurricane to strike Florida was Wilma back in October 2005. Historically, the state gets hit once every 2.3 years. Now, Phil Klausbach, who you just heard from, has been a researcher at Colorado State University working side by side with his mentor, friend, and pioneer, Dr. Bill Gray, who passed away this past spring. Dr. Gray is best known for creating the first seasonal hurricane forecast back in 1984 while he was a professor at Colorado State. During his career, he's traveled traveled around the world studying hurricanes. He also spent time here in Palm Beach County as a hurricane hunter back in the 1950s. Dr. Gray was 87 years old. We are expecting an active hurricane season because La Nina may form. Now, ocean temperatures in the Pacific will be cooler than normal, shifting jet stream patterns to enhance hurricane activity in the tropics. I know this sounds crazy, Mike, but cooler water in the Pacific leads to more hurricanes in the Atlantic? Yeah, I know. It does sound crazy, but as you know, Chris, here's what happens. The cooler water in the Pacific will shift the upper air pattern farther north. Now that reduces wind shear here in the Atlantic and can lead to more hurricanes. By the way, experts think that this year's La Nina may peak in August and September, which as you know, coincides with the peak of hurricane season. It could be a perfect mix for more storms. Still, there are other factors, including seawater temperatures in the Atlantic that could reduce or increase hurricanes. Now, the greatest danger from a hurricane is freshwater flooding and especially storm surge. Now, storm surge is a wall of water, sometimes reaching 10, maybe 15 feet high, moving on shore as a hurricane makes landfall. That's why people right along the coastline are asked to evacuate. Here's some examples of storm surge from Hurricane Ike, a Category 2 hurricane that hit southeastern Texas in 2008. Ike produced a storm surge of 15 to 20 feet. On the left is before the storm hit compared to on the right after the hurricane hit. You can see just how much damage that storm surge caused. Now, starting this year, the National Hurricane Center will use new technology to predict flooding in different regions. It's called the Potential Storm Surge Flooding Map. It'll show you where the storm surge flooding could happen happen and how far inland from the beach that flooding could go. Hurricane Katrina produced one of the highest storm surges in the nation. The Hurricane Center hopes the new technology will help people take evacuations more seriously. That's right, Mike, and I actually got to see what a hurricane looks like inside
inside a lab, a $15 million tank at the University of Miami called Sustain, short for Surge Structure Atmosphere Interaction. The Category 5 150 mile per hour winds are generated from an enormous fan, and one of the missions of researchers is to understand the relationship between the storms and the surface of the ocean. Essentially, there's a point as a hurricane gets bigger and bigger that the ocean gets smoother to the hurricane, so it can spin up even faster. Scientists there analyze data transferred remotely by special cameras and lasers on the walls of the 3D wave and wind machine. One of the key focuses of the research is storm surge. Thanks, Sandra. Now, some of you don't have a choice to ride out a storm in your home. Thousands of you will have to evacuate, and it's important to check now to see if you have to pick up and go. If you live east of US-1 on a barrier island or in a mobile home, you are in an evacuation zone. If you're not sure, go to WPBF.com and check out our hurricane guide. If you live in Palm Beach County, go to the emergency management website, scroll down to the evacuation tool, then type in your address. From there, you will find out if you need to evacuate. Also listed the nearest shelters, gas stations, grocery stores, and where you can get building supplies. And another big concern with tropical systems are tornadoes. With any tropical system, there's always some sort of natural rotation or twisting at winds at different levels of the atmosphere. This rotation forms quick moving tornadoes, usually on the outer fringe of tropical systems. These fast forming twisters can create EF0 to EF1 type damage in a matter of seconds. All right, Chris, you might have heard me talk about safe rooms during past hurricane coverage. A safe room has the potential to save your life, and now is the time to choose the best room in your home to shelter from the storm. All right, this is by far the best place to be if a hurricane is making landfall. You want to be inside your house. Now, that's assuming you're not in an evacuation zone or a mobile home. But let's assume this is your home. But where do you go when the hurricane is actually making landfall? There's some key places you want to be inside the house. Let's go inside and find out. Okay, inside the house. Lots of great places to seek shelter. Of course, the best, and unfortunately we don't live in the Midwest, is a basement. So here in South Florida, the idea is to put as many walls between you and those high winds. The problem? Windows. You want to stay away from windows. Now here's an interior room. Come on in. This is a bathroom. And ordinarily, bathrooms are great places to be your safe room. Unfortunately, this one's got a window. So let's look for something else. Now here's a much better choice right off the master bedroom. It's the master closet. This is a great choice for the safe room. Look how large it is. And that's important because it could be you and your family for an extended period of time, maybe several hours riding out the storm. This offers lots of protection and it's important that you be comfortable because again, you could be here for a while. So bring in your blankets, bring in your snacks and ride out the storm right here in your safe room. So that's it. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. The basic ingredients, you wanna be at the lowest level of your house, away from windows, a bathroom or a closet, that offers the best protection. And again, make yourself comfortable because you could be there several hours. There's your house, it's your castle, and it'll protect you during the storm. Well said, Mike. Well, one of the best ways to prepare is to have a family plan. If you need to evacuate, don't go far. Stay in your county, but stay out of the danger zone. Try to stay with a friend, relative, or in a hotel. Use a shelter as your very last resort. And bring supplies like medicine, bedding, clothes, bottled water, and extra car keys. Also bring important documents like your social security card, proof of residence, insurance policies, wills, deeds, birth, and marriage certificates. Nicely put, Sandra. Florida Power and Light is making sure they're ready. In May, FPL crews practice responding to a virtual hurricane making landfall. They also tested new technology, which will help restore power to customers faster. So that the workers can concentrate on restoring power as quickly and as safely as possible. FPL says the advancements in virtual mapping and its newest technology are definitely game changers. Uh, Chris, as you know, the WPBF 25 News Hurricane Tracker app is one-stop shopping for everything you need to know before, during, and after a hurricane. Now, at the bottom of the home page, there's tabs. This row provides various weather and satellite imagery of storms and hurricanes and allows you to track their paths. And at the very bottom is a prepare section. It links you to important phone numbers, checklists, senior resources, and pet and animal safety information. And finally, most importantly, too, the social tab will provide you 
up to the second information. People talking about power outages, school closures, what stores are open or closed, or what areas have been impacted by the storm. Also get ready to print out our storm survival guide right now. It has important phone numbers, evacuation maps, flood zones, and shelters. Just visit the hurricane section on WPBF.com. All right, coming up next, a wall of wind. What's behind these monster fans that could change future building codes? Then, is there enough money in Florida's hurricane catastrophe fund if we get hit? And test yourself, the interactive game app that could keep your house standing. We've been through a lot of hurricanes together, beginning with Andrew back in 1992. That was a big one. Of course, Francis and Jean in 2004, Wilma 2005. And if we have another hurricane this year, we're going to get through it together. Hi, I'm Mike Lyons. Did you know that Florida leads the nation in deaths from lightning? I want you to always be aware. If you're near a storm, try this. Count the seconds between a flash of lightning and a crack of thunder. Divide that number by five, and that's how many miles away the lightning struck. If the gap is less than 30 seconds or six miles away, you need to take cover immediately. When severe weather strikes, trust Mike Lyons and WPDF 25 First Alert Weather. Nobody respects women more than Donald Trump. That I can tell you. I'm not supporting Would you cut off funding against against Planned, Planned Parenthood? Parenthood. Uh, yes, I would. You know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. Do you, Do you believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Priorities USA Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. When you live and work here, reliability is more than just a job. It's what drives us. At FPL, we keep our eye on the big picture to be ready for you in good weather and bad. We train, plan, and prepare all year so that once the storm does pass, we can help get your life back to normal fast. Storm season is here. We are ready. Are you? To see how you can prepare for storm season, visit fpl.com storm. How fast are Allegra gel caps? Relief before the movie starts, fast. I didn't know you got a cat, fast. For allergy symptoms, Allegra is the fastest non-drowsy relief you can buy. We're going out in an hour, fast. Allegra gel caps, not just fast, Allegra fast. Guaranteed or your money back. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. For 30 years, you've heard our jingle. So what does that mean? Amazing everyday low prices on a large selection of electronics and more. An expert and knowledgeable sales team that's ready to help. In-home service by our master tech team. From installation to demonstration of the newest home electronics. And don't forget to ask about our BrandSmart 110% low price guarantee. Discover the BrandSmart way today. Studying hurricanes is my passion. In fact, I had a chance to chase a couple of them, most recently Hurricane Isaac. Now, those experiences helped me deliver the most accurate hurricane forecast this season. One of the main tools used to study storms, the Hurricane Hunter plane. This plane features state-of-the-art weather equipment. Every time a tropical system develops, these pilots fly right into the heart of the storm to bring us the most accurate measurements. That data is valuable because it provides the forecasted track of the storm. And Mike, those waters really do need to be watched closely Absolutely. This year. The last hurricane to hit South Florida developed here near the Yucatan Peninsula. That was in October of 2005. So let's take a look at where we typically see storm activity during each month in hurricane season. Now in June, tropical activity happens much closer to home. The storm is most likely to form either in the Gulf of Mexico or just off the Florida coast. By July, the waters begin warming and development widens to include the Eastern Caribbean. Come August, storms can form in the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Western Atlantic. September, usually the busiest month of the season with storms developing just about anywhere. And by October, we're watching the waters close to home once again. When November rolls around, storm activity pretty much confined to a small area east of Florida. 
And it doesn't happen very often, but it is possible to see a strong storm form in November, even though the waters are beginning to cool off a little by then. Well, now that you have a family plan, let's get your house ready. Here are the five things that you should do immediately to protect your home when a watch or a warning is issued. First, put up your aluminum shutters. Don't tape your windows. It does nothing. It doesn't prevent them from breaking. Second, bring in outdoor furniture, garbage cans, potted plants, and decorations. Those can turn into flying missiles in the heat of a storm. Don't throw out furniture in the pool either. Three, lower the water level in your pool a little bit, but don't drain it. Four, get rid of yard waste. Branches turn into flying debris as well. And finally, secure your garage, the most vulnerable part of your house. Most new homes do have braces to reinforce them. And if not, you can get a kit at any home improvement store. And of course, all this information available on our online hurricane guide. Florida's Hurricane Catastrophe Fund is in the best shape ever ahead of hurricane season. Estimates show the fund will have more than $17 billion available this year. This marks the first time the fund has more money than it would need to pay out if storms slammed the state. The fund has grown because Florida, we've been lucky, have been hit by a hurricane since Wilma in 2005. One of the biggest lessons from the 2004 and 2005 hurricane seasons was to be prepared early. Now is the time to stock up on the supplies. You'll see the list of supplies scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Things like bottled water, canned goods, and medication. Of course, you can also find the list on our free WPBF 25 hurricane app and in our printable hurricane guide. So let's say an evacuation has been ordered. One of the issues you'll face is wall-to-wall -wall traffic. Meteorologist Taylor Grinda can help you stay ahead of those backups with our WPBF 25 first alert traffic map system. If a hurricane is threatening, one of the biggest and most important challenges is evacuating and how to get out the quickest and the safest way. Well, we've got you covered with our state-of-the-art WPBF 25 first alert traffic system that has specific detailed evacuation maps all the way from the Treasure Coast down and through southern Palm Beach County. Plus, one of the most exciting features with our traffic system is that it's integrated with the WPBF 25 first alert radar system so that we can show you, for instance, where and when the heaviest rainfall is moving in giving you anything from wide view angles of major highways like I-95 all the way down to local street views. Plus, in the midst of a hurricane and evacuation situation, we've got detailed features from road closures due to down power lines or even the latest up-to-the-minute accident reports and also local drive time so that we can get you out and on your way as quickly and as safe as possible. Now, as hurricane season starts, it's always important to plan ahead. That is why you can find the latest evacuation maps on our website, WPBF.com. All right, thanks a lot, Taylor. And of course, when it does come to hurricanes, it is not just about the water, but the wind. On a two-acre plot at Florida International University sits the nation's most elite wind research machine. It's known as WOW, the wall of wind. WOW, the acronym for FIU's wall of wind, sums up its intensity. It's the power. And when those 12 fans are at 100% and we reach Cat 5, there's nothing else like it. When combined at full operating speed, the 12 fans produce 6 megawatts of power. That's enough electricity to power 2,000 single-family homes. They're funneled in as far as the air. Put it all together, we can reach that Category 5 wind strength like a Hurricane Andrew. Hurricane Andrew, in fact, inspired the wall of wind, established in part with funds from Andrew's We Will Rebuild effort. Rebuilding and building smart sits high on the priority list of WOW research projects. We're trying to enhance the building codes of the future moving forward. Testing involves a team in the operational control center on this day measuring electronic and cell signals in Cat 5 winds. But it's not just the speed of the wind that comes into play. We also had to get the personality of the wind. Turbulence, and that's what this does here. We have spires in the back, and then right along the bottom, all these triangles. This represents buildings and trees. Think of West Palm Beach. Larger structures rotate on or around a turntable to get different angles of attack. Metal roofs, solar panels, asphalt shingles, all kinds of tests. WOW is now designated as a national testing lab for the entire U.S., so all wind engineering projects now come through FIU and South Florida. Okay, Sandra, thanks. Coming up next, you may want to pick up more than bottled water and batteries. The new Hurricane Gadgets now on the market and what you need to do right now to make sure your pets are taken care of during a storm. 
I worked through Hurricane Katrina on the Gulf Coast and witnessing the sheer magnitude, power and impact of that hurricane really resonated with me. And in fact, I decided to become a meteorologist full time during Hurricane Katrina. And I think I bring that unique experience and a novel passion to the WPBF 25 First Alert weather team. Own the style section right now at Men's Warehouse. Buy one, get one free on most suits, sport coats, dress shirts, sportswear, and ties. Plus, select dress slacks are just $59.99. Men's Warehouse. Rise to the occasion. Now's the time to outfit your home with impact windows and doors. From permitting to final inspections, Armor View Window and Door takes care of it all. For a limited time, buy two windows or doors, get one free. Call Armor View today. We cover Boca, Boynton, Stewart, Wellington, West Palm, and everywhere in between better than anyone. At WPBF 25 News Mornings, getting informed is simple. Stories you missed overnight, breaking news happening now. WPBF 25 First Alert Traffic, keeping you on time and stress-free. WPBF 25 First Alert Weather, trusted, accurate. Live, local, late-breaking. On TV, on your phone, in your feed. Your best day always starts right here with WPBF 25 News Mornings. No way, it's oh, a Chevy. Wow. It's the Chevy Memorial Day Sale. Time to get the crossover that's right for you. Trax, Equinox, or Traverse. It's very impressive. It's awesome. This is incredible. It'll be a good road trip car. The Wi-Fi is cool. It's fancy. I love it. Get more than you expect for less than you imagine during the Chevy Memorial Day Sale. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Equinox LT for around $189 a month. See your South Florida Chevy dealer. You see us everywhere. More than 100 as till air conditioning trucks on the road 24-7. A magnificent elite team getting the job done. Evenings, weekends, even holidays. That's how Aztel became one of the largest ream dealers in the entire country. With dynamic dedication and a passion for excellence, Aztel Air Conditioning provides the fastest response time. Take advantage today of our complete $34 AC tuna. The elite team at Aztel will cater to all your AC needs. Own the style section right now at Men's Warehouse. Buy one, get one free on most suits, sport coats, dress shirts, sportswear, and ties. Plus, select dress slacks are just $59.99. Men's Warehouse. Rise to the occasion. Welcome back to Surviving the Storm. Here's an interactive way to test yourself, an app called Last House Standing. The game gives the player five minutes and 100 grand to build a house that strikes the perfect balance between stylish and indestructible. The home you create will get hit by a simulated hurricane and you can see how it weathers the storm. Now, if you've been through a storm, you're used to the traditional supplies you'll need to get by. But there are some new gadgets you may wanna pick up to help you weather the storm. The Florida Governor's Hurricane Conference is one place where the latest technology and hurricane preparedness tools are on display. Just think of this as a one-stop shop for products that can help in keeping your family safe, keeping your home secured, or even disaster recovery. One of the popular products this year, gourmet ready-to-eat meals in case you lose power at your house. The protein-packed meal comes with everything, including drink mix and dessert. These meals come with a safe, portable warmer that heats up your food in less than five minutes. Speaking of losing power, how about the latest in emergency lighting and fast? This portable light weighs only 16 pounds, sets up in less than eight seconds, and can light an entire football field. And when it comes to disaster recovery, one local company is taking it high tech. Palm Beach County's own disaster solution has an app that can help speed up search and recovery efforts. Virtual Badge is a decision support tool that focuses on identity management and activity reporting. So instead of paper documentation, they use a smartphone application that automatically time date stamps and geocodes forms with no cell phone towers or internet. Thanks, Chris. During in a storm, getting in touch with your loved ones becomes a huge challenge. In high winds, cell towers get damaged often, leaving you with no signal to make calls. But satellite phones, like this one from Global Star, based in Boca Raton, would continue to work using a U.S. based phone number and area code. If landlines go down, cell phones down, and we lose power, I'd be able to call friends and family out of state and let them know I'm okay. An excellent option for you. The phone runs about $500. We'll be right back. I'm a South Florida native. I went through Hurricane Wilma and Andrew. In fact, Hurricane Wilma went right over my house and that fascinated me to become who I am now, a meteorologist and to study hurricanes. 
I love the author's use of seasons to talk about love. Does anyone have a different interpretation? I actually felt exactly the same way, and in fact, in chapter seven. Whoa. It's hard to look at Jeannie's face, because you can only see me. Winter throughout the story makes me I was just depressing. Don't get upstaged by your glasses. At Stanton Optical, you get two pairs of eyeglasses for $69, plus a free eye exam. Tragically, in an accident, sometimes we must face the reality that a loved one will pass. If they were the main provider for the family, there's a good chance they had a life insurance policy that would allow the family to carry on. Unfortunately, some insurance companies are denying benefits with the knowledge of the passing. It's wrong and it's unfair. If you've been denied benefits due to the death of a loved one, call Lytle, Ryder, Smith, Ivy, and Fraunrath. We will fight for your rights. Futures of Palm Beach sets a superior standard for the treatment of addiction. Our resort-style facility ensures you will be able to focus completely on your recovery during your stay with Futures by combining the most in-depth leading-edge treatment with a five-star level of personalized service. From the moment you arrive at Futures, you'll be surrounded with a staff of PhD or experienced master's level primary therapists, 100% focused on guiding you towards a path of sustainable recovery. Your luxurious suite includes a private bathroom and spacious bedroom. Our revolutionary Days of Ascent program guarantees you a lifetime of treatment through our alumni team, giving you the best opportunity for long-term success. Just one of the many differences you'll find only at Futures. Pay less now for the number one selling sedan? Honda has it with Accord. Accords cost less than the competition. They're all on sale now and fully loaded for $189 a month. Every Accord is on sale with zero down or $189 a month. Accord has available Honda Lane Watch, Forward Collision Warning, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more. Accords on sale this week for only $189 at your local Honda dealer. South Florida, Honda has it. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit my hometown. Living through that experience really showed me how powerful Mother Nature can be. With this knowledge, WPBF 25 First Alert Weather Team and I will keep you ahead of the storm this hurricane season. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, we can't forget about our four-legged family members. Yeah, hurricanes are just as stressful on them as they are on us. Meteorologist Vanessa the Nent shows you how to prepare your pets for a storm. This is Tegan. Just like any other member of your family, it's very important to keep your family safe and pets as well. Here are four important things that you need to know about. First things first, all dogs should have a good collar that includes an ID tag in case they get lost during the storm. Second, if you do need to evacuate, make sure you have all the essential tools that you need. First things first, a pet crate, plenty of food and water, and a few of their favorite toys to provide them comfort. Third, make plans in advance for your pets. Red Cross shelters do not accept animals, so it's a good idea to research online and find a shelter that does accept animals or even find a hotel outside your area where you can take your pets. And last but not least, remember to always have your pet's health information with you. Our pets are part of our family and you want to keep everyone safe. Vanessa Vinan, WPBF 25 News. All right, Vanessa, thank you. Not only are we committed to covering the storm on air and online, we'll also be streaming our coverage on our radio partners, Coast 101.3, 95.9 The Palm, 93.5 The Bar, and 900 AM The Talk. We are committed to preparing you before, during, and after a storm. Now, when a watch is issued for our area, we'll be the first on air and online to bring you the latest details. And when that watch becomes a warning, we will have live, continuous coverage, keeping your family safe until the threat is over. So stay safe and be prepared. Good night. Hurricane season is here, and you're not ready without the WPBF 25 First Alert Weather Hurricane Survival Guide. Everything you need before, during, and after the storm, all in one place. Download it now. Go to WPBF.com and click Hurricanes.
How fast are Allegra gel caps? They're rise and shine fast. Buddy's ready to go fast. For allergy symptoms, Allegra is the fastest non-drowsy relief you can buy. Their fun shouldn't wait fast. Allegra gel caps. Not just fast. Allegra fast. Guaranteed or your money back. When you're excited about the future, it can't come soon enough. And at FPL, it's already here. By investing in smart technology, we're making your energy more reliable. By tripling our use of solar, we're making your energy cleaner. And by using more U.S.-produced natural gas, we're working to keep your energy affordable, all so you can keep coming home to bills that are among the lowest in the nation. See how at FPL.com. A community volunteer from Kirkland, Washington, Laurie Corin. A graduate student in mathematics from Washington, D.C., Kim Mercure. And our returning champion, an English professor from North Hills, California, Aaron Delaney, whose two-day cash winnings total $53,999. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex 